<laughs> well, hello there once again, everybody, and I'm back with yet another piano teacher that I've found. So, <laughs> what's your name and where are you from? So, I'm Karina Jolie and I'm from Brazil. <laughs> ah, we're talking to somebody from Brazil. Yeah. So, let's see what we can find out. So, um, tell us a little bit about where you teach and who you teach. Okay. I teach, should I speak to you or to, to them? <laughs> speak to them, yeah, okay. wherever. <laughs> I teach at the universe, a federal university of Cariri. So remember, Karina, Karirina. <laughs> it's my university. No, that's uh, it's in a city called Juazeiro do Norte in the Ceará state in Brazil. Where is a music education program going, going on there? It's a bachelor's degree program. Um, yeah, it's a bachelor's degree in music education. Oh, it's a bachelor's degree in music education. So you're going to get a teaching allowance to, to, to go to K-12 schools and teach music when you finish. The students there don't have a proficiency exam because otherwise they would uh, not be able to pass the exam. So we have an open program. They have to have some um, grades with other examinations and then they come into the program, maybe not knowing how to read music, but they are all loving music and we actually start them from zero. They have to choose one instrument. Okay. Okay. And uh, the ones who have better grades in the first semester, they actually can choose the most popular instruments like piano and guitar. But the policy in our school is that our teaching instrument, instrumental teaching is to be done collectively. So we have two meetings a week of two hours each. And it's a, a group of maximum eight. The piano group has eight people and the other instruments do six, five, depending on how many people they have there, but maximum six. And we do it collectively. At the end of this, the whole program, they are supposed to give a recital. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a very high level, technically, recital. It can be uh, some representation of what they have learned during the uh, four years program. So, and, okay, yes. so it's four years. It's undergraduate age so 18 plus is it not not, not necessarily for example i have a student who is uh, already has a bachelor's degree in psychology okay. she's doing that i have uh, people that are mothers of, a mom of three kids okay. and working there okay. so you have different ages mm. it depends really the groups are very uh, heter heterogeneous is that okay. a word yes. yes yeah okay and in as part of their group piano lessons they learn to read music do they learn improvisation skills? Yeah, we do, and... we do that because it's quite part of our music, popular music. And also we have a requirement to always include Brazilian music and Northeastern music in our program. So we have to teach Brazilian rhythms, which is actually something that I have not been prepared uh, in, my, in my learning because I did a bachelor's degree with classical oriented programs. So I, it's not easy to learn this. I have had my own interest in salsa music so i kind of learned some of the rhythms which is really hard and it's hard for them too especially yeah. because they're beginners yeah. but we go through some brazilian rhythms and some simpler harmonies to to get arrangements we talk we work, work a lot with folk music and playing them because they might have to do that when they teach at schools so yes um and also they, they have the chance to also bring what they would like to learn so I have to be very open. I'm already talking about my challenges. Like I have to be very <laughs> open about what repertoire they like, because I don't know. I don't know all this music from games or from movies mm. or from like, because I have no time to actually uh, look into that. So I end up learning from them. Oh, this piece I have to listen and I help them to do an arrangement. Mm. And it's, it's the best kind of teaching is when you learn as well, isn't it? I learn yeah. a lot. Yes, <laughs> yes. As we like to say with Curious, we learn as much as we teach. Yes. Really. So that, that might be one of your challenges. But what about, you know, what are you most pleased with, proud of I'm in, in very, the teaching? I'm very pleased to deal with these people. I am so proud with the, the way the students are because they are, first of all, they are in a place that is not very privileged in terms of structure and money and they are so eager to learn. They appreciate every little thing that you are giving them as a teacher. So I think this is working well. I have to say that when I started this job, I was a bit 
having pressure and I was more I was stricter with with I was how I, I was dealing with them and my ex expectations but then I understood that they don't understand what I am expecting so it's really my flexibility even more than you already have to have in that country mm -hmm. because of all the infrastructure problem so I think that this is the biggest as a piano teacher to be more flexible towards repertoire towards uh, also toward my own learning and my skills improvement yes we have to continue learning so I am a musician's health and wellness person I had to learn how to deal with the body and how to deal with that and to help them and now I have another thing to learn which is to to help them to do arrangements for example yeah, that's yeah. something that I didn't do so much until I got there and writing arrangements for group piano mm. I am writing mm. them you know and together with them so yeah. it, we do it collectively and it's hard to work collectively when you have a, a room that is full of different levels yeah. some yeah. one or two know how to play the piano others don't know and they're all together so in terms of your challenges this is really a these big these are yeah. some of your challenges big challenges yeah yes. yeah and i know we've been talking earlier and you were saying about the lack of pianos actually also yes. in this <laughs> yes like we have one grand piano in my department with but this, there's no room to put it, it in so it was put in the smallest auditorium of the university which has 100 seats we have this piano there so this room is not available to me. I actually required that. I said, as I am the only piano teacher and that's the best instrument we have in the university, could I have a free entrance to this room, a key? They said, no, you have to schedule. Okay, so I have to, I cannot do, see, oh, it's empty now, can I use it? No, it has to be scheduled. Mm -hmm. And the scheduling takes maybe 24 hours. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a big difficulty. We do have actually some acoustic pianos distributed into for rooms and if I of course I meet these students out of the room I'm not paid to do this but I do meet them individually also regularly to help them with their individual needs because not always in the group class I can yeah, actually yeah. give that to them so I work more than actually I'm supposed to yeah. but it's okay I'm happy because they appreciate that a lot mm -hmm. so there are these challenges also tuning the pianos yeah you yeah. know not always we get the pianos tuned so. okay. It's, it sounds like a very uh, a real challenge that yes, you've got I'm there. Yes, I'm thinking of and learning how to tune the it, piano, so <laughs> you don't have to wait the, the possibilities yeah, of getting yeah, money and getting yeah, the tuner yeah. there. So, you know, us based in the UK or even in, in North America, we really, I don't think, feel know that we're born sometimes with the pianos just there and we can nearly always find a grand piano, even if you're not based at a university. And I'm just thinking universities are dripping with lovely, lovely pianos. This is the only grand piano in the city, in a hall, that could have a piano recital. Okay, okay. So, yeah, there we go. Um, so, finally, Karina, tell us a little bit about your own training, you uh -huh. know, the system you went through. Okay. You've told us a little bit about mm -hmm. the system for, uh, mm -hmm. in Brazil, but for yourself. Yes. So. I was I studied at uh, University uh, State University of Campinas Unicamp. It's one of the best universities in many 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 fields, including piano, uh, in Brazil. That's in the state of São Paulo. I did a bachelor's degree there, which is very much European uh, and classical. Mm. Cla they they also have a jazz program, but it's a classically oriented program. So I learned a like regular bachelor's degree. But you had piano lessons before then. Oh yes, sure. Okay, that was like private because yes, yes. Okay. this was something that my father valued so he actually seven children five of them learned piano yes because the, it happened that we had a, a piano in at home okay because his mother got this piano for some she didn't play the piano but they got some uh, it's, a, it's a long story but anyway <laughs> um, so we had this piano there and uh, my father really appreciate, appreciated classical music so uh, five kids learned the piano and I was the one who actually kept ongoing but it was all privately mm -hmm. uh, people don't have access to to music lessons for free mm -hmm. they will not have uh, people who have had a, a chance to learn piano they are not from the poor uh, poor uh, classes mm -hmm. I am a middle-class person coming so I am lucky to have had this instrument and to have had my father being able to pay the piano lessons so I had that I ended up going to the conservatory which is also paid it's not like a national I mean there are some national conservatories in Brazil that are free in especially in Minas Gerais state there are many it's a state that has many uh, uh, national 
uh, nationally funded conservatory, but normally it's paid. So I did that, and so I got a, a, a like an associate, uh, a technical degree in piano before going to college. Okay. okay. Then I went to college, and then after that, I ended up going to a master's degree in the United States. Yeah. So I did. I went to Penn State University. I did piano pedagogy and piano performance there. And then I did piano pedagogy and performance at OU, Oklahoma University, in, in, in my doctorate, my DMA. So this is my my biggest uh, piano uh, uh, formation, foundation. Yeah. So this was really incredible. I, there are not many people with these degrees, uh, piano pedagogy degrees in Brazil teaching. So these are people who are leading actually a, a group that is starting there with piano teachers. I mean, it's not starting actually. Uh, since 2017, more or less, more people got into this group and we're organizing conferences to okay. bring piano pedagogy to yes. people. Okay. Because when you do a bachelor's degree in Brazil, you don't have a piano pedagogy program, a class. Yeah. Yeah. No introduction to piano pedagogy. Actually, I'm doing that as an outreach program in my university. I just started and I'm bringing the piano teachers coming because those are the, the graduates from my program who went there without any piano pedagogy course. And those are the ones who learned piano in four years okay yeah, so yeah. and they go yeah. if yeah. someone tell them can you teach me oh yes are you gonna pay me i teach you but they might not <laughs> have had the piano pedagogy foundation yeah. mm. so yeah. i started so it's like it's a quite new in a way yeah. there are some universities with very with people that have created that for them but it's not a lot yeah. so, sorry i'm Ab so Ab absolutely much. fascinating i think you know we all you've given us a, such a rich description there oh. of of what what goes on yes and what's lacking and all the amazing work it sounds as though you're putting in place we are trying and there's one i have to say there was a there is a specialization program that started in rio de janeiro in 2012 i think if i'm not wrong i apologize someone somewhere there and they but they are they are paid it's a paid program so mm -hmm. you could have a specialization it's a paid program it's not inside of a, a federal university or a state university that would be done for free okay yes. all right thank you so Stop. much thank you karina and thank you to thank naomi you. who Hello. is our camera person yes. <laughs> great job guys <laughs> <laughs>